Russia's invading army is racing against the weather clock, trying to seize yet more towns in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region before the ground gets muddy this autumn and temperatures later plunge. The coal mining town of Toretsk is on the verge of falling to Moscow's forces, an outcome which would make it the latest in a handful of towns and villages falling in recent months to Russia's grinding Donbass offensive launched a year ago. Ukrainian military expert Vladislav Zeleznev says that Russian occupiers may advance in the Toretsk direction if they continue to turn a blind eye to their massive losses in the battles for the city of Toretsk. According to him, the attempt to flank Toretsk was useless for the enemy. Zeleznev noted that the invaders tried to encircle the Ukrainian armed forces garrison in Toretsk but lost a lot of resources. Therefore, the occupiers have returned to the old tactics that were developed during the First and Second Chechen Wars. In particular, first, the active use of cabs and artillery in order to guarantee the destruction of any building in the city. So our troops are again facing challenges, the military expert emphasized. Zeleznev added that the Russian army can continue to send the maximum amount of equipment and manpower to the Toretsk direction. On the one hand, I understand that modern military science says that conducting combat operations in urban areas is one of the most difficult. In these realities, an army that is advancing suffers losses. However, now we can say that the enemy is still making progress in Tourette's. Under such conditions, the enemy is ready to take big losses and in return have progress on this section of the front, the expert emphasized. He noted that the resource factor will play perhaps the main role in the battles for Tourette's. If the Russian occupiers continue to not count their losses and throw all their forces and resources into this direction, then they will continue to advance. Zeleznev said on Espresso TV. Fierce house-to-house -house fighting rages in Tourette's, a Ukrainian stronghold since Russia's first invasion of Donbass in 2014 following the occupation of Crimea. For most of the first two years of Russia's full-scale invasion launched in early 2022, it was tucked away in a calmer part of the front line until Russian forces started storming it this June. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Friday it's important that Allies' aid to Ukraine doesn't decrease next year as he received a pledge of a new weapons package from German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on a European tour meant to win backing for his victory plan aimed at ending the war with Russia. Zelensky arrived in Berlin after stops Thursday in London, Paris and Rome on a tour arranged after a planned summit Saturday with US President Joe Biden and other Allied leaders was derailed by Hurricane Milton. Scholz noted that Germany is Ukraine's biggest military supporter in Europe and the second biggest behind the United States, and said, it will stay that way. The Ukrainian leader has yet to publicly detail his proposals for victory. But the timing of his efforts to lock in European support appears to have the looming US election in mind. Former President Donald Trump has long been critical of US aid to Kiev. Ukraine's stretched and short-handed army is currently under heavy pressure in the country's eastern Donetsk region. Russian forces recently pushed it out of the Donetsk town of Volodar and are now in control of about half of nearby Toretsk. To stop the losses, Zelensky needs to secure more help. In Berlin, he said that Ukraine would want to end the war no later than in 2025. This plan is a bridge to hold a productive peace summit that will truly put an end to the war, he said adding that Ukraine can only strengthen its position against Russia through cooperation with Western partners. Europa, der zweitstärkste in der Welt. Und dabei wird es bleiben. Для нас дуже важливо, щоб і наступного року допомога не зменшилась. Я хочу подякувати за те, що ти зараз вже анонсував щодо нового пакету і ще майбутнього пакету з допомогою також наших партнерів. Нам дуже важливо думати про наступний рік, щоб обсяг не зменшився і був достатнім для захисту людей і життя. І ця зустріч, мабуть, одна з найважливіших. Сьогодні я представлю Олафу план, як, на нашу думку, примусити Росію до миру, тобто як завершити цю війну, хотілося б не пізніше, ніж у наступному 25-му році, і гарантувати не повторення агресії. Цей план є мостом до проведення 
результативного саміту миру, який дійсно поставить крапку в війні. Тобто цей план не на заміну нашій мирній ініціативі, а щоб саме посилити позиції України заради наближення до миру. Ми можемо зробити це у взаємодії. Всі наші партнери розраховуємо і на підтримку Німеччини.